This video is brought to you by the Cheskin Ferrers Grammar School Film Production Team. Welcome to Research and Referencing. I am Mr Beckett and I'm going to be giving you some really important tips which you can use then to take your homework, your assignments and your career further. First of all, what is research? Well, it's investigating a topic or a question. We're looking at answering the questions that we're posed independently. We're going to be searching various sources of information and we're going to be finding out about related areas of inquiry because you may just find that some of the work that you do surprises you. Why should you conduct research? First of all, as you have been told countless occasions with your teachers, Wikipedia is for losers. You cannot always trust the facts that are displayed there and by facts I use that word very loosely. You in fact should be finding things out for yourself. If we know anything from the US government, from Donald Trump, from Brexit, we know that you cannot trust a single source of information. In fact, you should actively distrust information until you've worked it out for yourself and reached your own conclusions. So research is critical for this. The next question you might be asking yourself is how do we conduct research? This, is, this might be a new term for you and so we need to think carefully about which sources we use. We need to be thorough, we need to check for bias, whether a source is lying to us or trying to put forward a point of view at the expense of something else. We also need to be critical. Can this resource actually help us write our essay? Adds to our slideshow? Can it actually help us or is it just filling the space? You may be wondering, where do I go for information? Well, the thing I always recommend is starting off with BBC Bite Size. Bite Size, you probably have heard of it. You've probably used it before. They have Keysage 3. They have Keysage 4. They even have resources for A-level. But Bite Size summarises information into useful, easy to digest Bite Size nuggets. As such, when starting a project, I always recommend typing the topic name and then BBC Bite Size into Google. It provides a wealth of resources from almost every single area of the curriculum and can generally be trusted. The next source of information that I would recommend using is Google Scholar. Little heard of because it isn't in those hyperlinks at the top, but Google Scholar is a resource that filters out all other resources that are not academic. Academia is the pursuit of knowledge and truth, and Google Scholar will help you in attaining that. Google Scholar filters everything apart from articles and books, and therefore you can trust that the material you use from Google Scholar will be peer-reviewed. It will have been checked for its validity, for its reliability. Another source of information which is particularly good for history, for geography and perhaps for some of the other subjects such as statistics in mathematics is government sources, statistical information. The CIA World Factbook is a really good starting place. It provides a wealth of resources on lots of different countries, on lots of socio-economic backgrounds and will provide you with good, up-to-date, checked statistics. I looked up the Federated States of Micronesia, for example and I found that it had only been updated five days prior to me searching for it, which shows you that even such a small country can be regularly updated, have up-to-date information and be useful for your projects. Refining searches in Google is a key skill that you can use when researching for your projects. Avoid wide search criteria. This will lead to millions upon millions of various results which will take up your time and will often lead to you not getting the required information. If I'm at home and I want to procrastinate and look up dogs, and I just type in dogs, I won't get Beagles, my favourite dog, automatically. I'll have to hunt for it. And so we recommend narrowing that search. For instance, if you type in dog Beagle, you'll notice that the search results almost halve, and you're given specific, precise information on the dog breed of your choice. Another good tip to use when refining searches is to use inverted commas to refine your search to a specific phrase that is necessary for your search. 
One thing that we do need to discuss in this video is something called plagiarism. Plagiarism is a very serious issue. It can get you kicked out of university courses. It can get you fired from your job. Essentially, plagiarism is stealing the ideas of others, whether intentionally or unintentionally. If you reference something, for instance, if I take a quotation, or if I take a paragraph from Wikipedia, which I will never do, you should say where you got it from. Otherwise, it is dishonest. It is not your own work. Google defines plagiarism as the practice of taking someone else's work and making it your own, which it is not. So please do not plagiarise. For instance, if I was to hand this in, this is The Federated States of Micronesia by Mr Beckett. I could hand this in. It meets the word count. It tells the reader everything they want to know about Micronesia, which may not be very much. But every single word is taken directly from Wikipedia. Bad Mr Beckett. Take this for example. The Federated States of Micronesia by Mr Beckett. You'll notice that it's shorter, but it's also drawing the reader's attention to specific pieces of information which they may or may not have been asked for. I've used two sources, and I've shown that by referencing them using footnotes in my work. I've stated that the most popular islands, or the most populated islands, are Yap, Chuk, Ponpai, and Kosrai. And this is interesting. And another interesting fact that I can dig from the information is that the Federated States of Micronesia, whilst having one of the smallest land areas in the world, actually covers one of the largest global areas because it's spread out across the Pacific Ocean. This information I have condensed from Wikipedia. It's not as long. It doesn't use as many fancy words. However, it is mine, and I have explained it. This is what research is all about. So, how do you reference sources? I'm not going to labour the point. There are many different ways of referencing sources. Displayed behind me are just three of those ways. My favourite being footnotes, where you have a small number in the top corner using the superscript function that alerts the reader to there being a reference underneath. The second method, brackets, is a really good way to show the reader that you have referenced a specific author. Finally, you may not want to include footnotes and brackets all the way through your text. You may think it looks clumsy, in which case the final way of doing this, a bibliography, may be for you. In this, we have notes at the end of our paper that tell or either boast that you have read a variety of sources in conducting your homework project. You should reference. Once you get to a certain age or a certain stage in your academic careers, you will be required to reference. By any means, it's polite. It acknowledges that somebody else has done a great deal of work to inform you of what you recently found out. Secondly, it makes you think about source reliability. For instance, if you are to reference a particular political newspaper, you may find that it's less reliable than something which isn't written to persuade someone. Thirdly, it shows your teacher that this is your own work. It avoids any accusations of plagiarism. And it also shows your teacher that you have followed research to a certain conclusion. In effect, it's a way of showing off that you've done the hard work and gone the extra mile for your homework project. Finally, it just allows people to find out more from themselves. It allows someone who's read your article, who's interested by what you have to say, to go beyond what you've said and verify the facts for themselves. Finally, a summary. Do not get all your information from one place. Use clever Google search tips to improve and speed up your research. And finally, use referencing to ensure that you're never accused of plagiarism, to show where you found your sources, and to make you a better and more skilled researcher. Thank you very much.